What's up guys? I know I haven't been uploading a lot of CG character creator Unreal Engine 4 videos lately because of the Ursa Mini Pro 12K and I've been getting a lot of questions and requests about uh, this to kind of go over it a little bit more. I know I did a little bit uh, a couple of days ago or last week. So what I'm doing right now is just kind of going over my process and I am in the beginning phase of another short skit short film type of deal and i'm just kind of show you my process really just so uh where i start uh, i already have the script written and now i am looking for characters and clothes and stuff like that so that's why we're in character creator 3. now in character creator 3 i purchased the elite characters it comes with a lot of i think it's 12 characters which is pretty nice and the cool thing about this is you can actually convert them into the CC3 plus characters because it's a little bit older uh, but it's a really it's a really well made character and I kind of wish they would make a lot more of these realistic human characters now I got a lot of questions regarding on where I get the stuff uh, Relusion has a content store. Everything here, as far as I know, is made by the company. The marketplace, uh, the stuff over here, are made by individuals, and they're selling the content here for iClone and Character Creator Three. Now, if you notice, um, to be honest, let's see if we want to get like a character. The characters here are more like Daz 3D kind of stuff. I mean, if you look at these. You know the hair and all this stuff they have a lot more they have a lot more stuff in the marketplace but i i find a lot more realistic stuff in the content store but you can use both and what i mean by that is i have a character here that i got from the content store and the, the clothes right here they have this pack called the scan lab pack which is actually really really good look at this this is really cool has some stuff in here got some realistic and as far as i know these are photo scan yeah photogrammetry conforming clothes for character creators so it's pretty exciting that they're having to do uh they're creating a lot more of this because if you look here their clothes are great but to me it looks like this one actually doesn't look too bad. To me, it looks like Sims character, if that makes any sense. That actually don't look that bad. And it looks like this is created by this guy. But the whole point is, and I mean, this is right here, the wedding dress, right? If you look at that, it's not really photorealistic. So you are going to have to look around to find the clothes for your characters, right? Similar with hair and stuff like that. They have some Relution certified here, but they also have some here in the content store like these right here. These are really cool. Uh, the Realistic Dynamic here, I believe I have one of these right here. But this is where I build the character. And it's kind of cool because back in the day, uh, when I was like a teenager, modeling for CG, getting a realistic CG character out of 3DX Max or Maya was a lot of skills but as a filmmaker it's nice to have these kind of content out for us to get because if you think about it do you really think um steven spielberg models his own cg characters he doesn't he relies on ilm to create the characters for him so it's really nice to have this kind of uh, place to get the stuff from because you can just worry about the story and animation you don't have to worry about creating and that's why i think character creator 3 and relusion with unreal engine 4 is such a versatile combination that i am really hoping that a lot of creators out there will start creating for these guys because it's insane what you can get out of this combo so like I said, I already had those clothes. So if you see right here, I have the presidential limousine. And basically what this next short skit is going to be about is an interrogation script. So let me take you to Unreal Engine 4 so I can kind of show you what I've been working on. Um, I got this map in the Unreal Engine 4 marketplace. Again, everything that I have here you can also get yourself obviously i ended up relighting it a little bit and changed some of the textures because it was a little bit 
shiny and here i did rearrange some stuff i mainly made the room bigger because when lighting stuff i want a little bit more of a fall off meaning i want it to get darker if i were to put a light right here and it, it was a lot closer if you get it after you download it and get it is a lot closer than this and i made it a little bit bigger i lit it differently a little bit i placed three lights just like that i put a clock right here so there's some stuff that i did in this room um but i haven't put the character in there yet so the scale might be off i also changed the table the desk so just little things and this is supposed to be a mirror i gotta figure out how to make that a little bit uh shinier so that's the set that we're gonna be working in we have the character we have the script so what i'm gonna do now is go to the secret agent costumes and gears and this is a pack that you can get as well and basically this girl is gonna play a cop so we're gonna scroll down and i'm gonna make her wear a black holster shirt gray and i'm just gonna go fit the body shape so it will conform and that's what's cool about it i'm just gonna leave it by default that's what's cool about it it's gonna conform here right and as you can see here it's a pretty high quality really high quality stuff uh as far as modeling and stuff and in one click i just dressed this individual like similarly to sims <laughs> you know but it looks great so the next thing we're gonna do is uh give her some pants really so we'll do gray and then we'll do black black cloth that's brown uh one belt one belt black let's try this one and we're gonna do fit body shape default is okay default's been working for me just fine so here you go now she has shirt and pants and now we're gonna get her some shoes shoes black is okay boom just like that okay enter and then we're gonna do a lorry cop okay save the project there and um i'm gonna work on the skin and all that stuff we're gonna customize her a little bit more to make her not look so standard in future videos so uh but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna superimpose some hair on her and then we're gonna go we're gonna call it a day with this video and like i said i'm gonna press back here and then if we go to not that one conforming hair um this one really doesn't look like a cop hair but let's take a look to be honest you know what no that that actually looks okay she looks fine like that she looks like a believable cop in my opinion right so just like that we have a cg character ready to be animated with a perception neuron ready to be animated with a motion uh with a facial motion app on your iphone and ready to be imported to unreal engine 4 that is some very exciting stuff all right so guys uh this is already a long video just kind of show you um you know just like the process on how i kind of get these characters in and then change them up in a little bit uh, you know, and just kind of like what I do to get started.